Hello guys, Becky Day here. Alright guys, uh... I'm gonna start on something else right now. Uh, the B29 is still drying. I forgot yesterday I was making the final reveal of the Airfix Vulcan. And that's all that. I probably forgot to put the paneling in that thing. That's gonna take time to dry. So I went ahead and airbrush panels on already. And I gotta let that aluminum dry a little bit, guys. I can't go back on it and mess over because you pull the paint off and it look terrible. So I'm gonna let it dry properly and appropriately. And uh, so I mask it off and be all ready to go. So she looks pretty with that with all that paneling I put on there. And uh, and I got the Tiffy. I'll be working on Tiffy probably this evening. And uh, the AD Sky Ray, you know, I got some filler on it right now. I got the fuse stars all together. Rudder works. It's pretty well taped up. You can see the die breaks open when I bring down the stabilizers. With AD dry. And uh, so right now, the topic of this video, my new viewers out there and commenters, my new friends, uh, have never seen paper models before. A lot of you old fellows out there who know know me and when I first bring paper models out, uh, you find them very delightful and so do I. And these are card models made out of paper. Now this is a fly model that comes from Poland. These fly models. Right now, we're going to build this Polar Poco one's I-16. Right here. I'm going to build that right there. There's three in one kit. And believe me guys, these things build up like plastic if you build them right. And I know a lot of you guys out there seen my work before. And you know Frankie Dave's telling the truth. So this is the kit I'll be working on right here. This piece of paper right here will be an airplane. A very strong airplane. <clears throat> Those of you who are not familiar with paper kits, like to get into them. I believe I made two or three videos of paper models. Uh, I did a complete build a build log on the uh, on a Japanese uh, Jake, the E13 Jake uh, float plane. I broke that out sub so I showed you guys how to do that. So that's that's a pretty good building method. Anyway, we'll start building models. I'm sure to uh, review my uh, video I made on that ages ago on building card models. I have built paper in a long time. I think the last card model I built was a base like I can't remember. No, it was a tadpole. Yep, it was it was a flying uh, the flying suitcase. It's hanging up there with my uh, crowded skies, and uh, this is going to be a nice little airplane to work. It's a little squirt. I'm going to pull a car pole. It comes in. Uh, Two pages right here is your your formers right here. On your formers right here, you got to take some hard Bristol board, cardboard like thickness of a uh, thickness of Bristol board, like like uh, cereal boxes, thing like that. You got to cut. You got to take these and glue them to the, your cereal boxes or your hard stock. Because these are your formers. These are, very, these are very essential and very important to have. Without these, you couldn't build the airplane. So these got to be stepped up and doubled. So the only way to do that, you got to take this sheet, completely take spray adhesive or glue stick, and glue it over like cardboard. And uh, that gives you your formers. And uh, it goes together quite well. I haven't built a card kit in a long time. I haven't lost my touch. I know I can, I can build them like, like anything else. I, in fact, I started building car kits before I got into the plastic and everything. Because back in early America, back in our days, when I was very, very young, we couldn't afford to buy uh, balsa wood because I don't think we had very much plastic back in them days. 
everybody was old to the card models. I think John Hathaway is probably one of the oldest card companies in the world. He would do some mighty fine selection of card kits at the time. Of all kind of all genders. Okay. This is a cute little Russian airplane. It's, a, it's probably one of the first that the Russians ever used. I think it was used pretty much during the war. It's a, it's a pistol Pez Watley airplane. It's very stubby, very fast, and very, uh, very aggressive airplane for its day. And um, they, uh, they're a very strong airplane. I don't know very much of the history of the, of the, uh, the, of the Poe 116, but I know that the other carriage right there had cables underneath there. They could lower the landing gear, but they didn't have no hydraulics or no crank system like we did on the uh, F-2A Buffalo and the F-3F and also the, F the FF-1 Goblin. And the rest of the landing gear that packed inside the Fuchsia, they were done by crank. But these right here, they, when you lower it, the landing gear will come down and it will lock. But the razor, you get to unlock it, you get that cable system. They, they pull the cable system and they pull the wheels up. I mean, that's kind of weird. But that's the engineering factor of it was for the day. And uh, they are a brisky little airplane. It built well, it came out very nice. So I'm going to get started on that and probably have some uh, videos of that coming up this week. But right now, it's something to fill the bill along with the tiffy. Uh, so the B-29 drives, I'll get the final reveal shaken on that. I'll probably stand down the AD later on this evening and join the wings to it and refill again with it dry. And So I'll probably have that thing ready by the end of this week or next week sometime. But there's no hurry on these bills, guys. You know, I mean, I can't rush paint work. I can't rush glue time. Uh, that's the most important factor is time for the paint to dry and also the glue is because you don't want to handle it when it's wet because you're not going to get, you're going to get nowhere but ruin your model. So it's always best to go ahead and let it set and dry. That's what it's there for. And go on to something else. So right here is something else. So I want to get started on that. I got me some backup board over there. I want to glue the seat on there and put them on there, cut them out, prepare parts, and go ahead and uh, get this thing assembled. And this thing, this thing is probably a good week or two here, uh, to build. And uh, once the going gets going, it won't take long at all. And this one took kind of a kit. And I love the hell out of these car kits. It's the printing of it makes it, uh, that's the beauty of it. If it wasn't for the printing like that, the thing would be uh, ho ungodly horrible. And the gaps and everything like that. But I try to leave no gaps in my card socks, especially joining the parts, so I can make some flush. So I'll work on the Poe 116 for a while. And, uh, I want to start making some, a series of videos, guys. Since I got a high quality HD camera right here, opposed to the old one he's had before, I'm going to start bringing out some of my builds of the past I've made. And I think you guys will get a real kick out of seeing those. And believe me, I got a lot. And I don't mind bringing it up and showing it to you guys again. And some of you fellas have never seen it before, and you can see it for the first time yourselves. Okay, guys, uh, I'm going to get started on this Po 12 right here. Get my I got my tools out. Got to get my felt tip pencils out. It's always good to have a felt tip pencils, permanent markers you call them. And remember, when you cut those parts out, always take the white out with a black marker. Uh, some guys use regular uh, paint. You can mix paint. Paint and it's kind of hard to mix paint and to match paint with with cardstock on the printing, but it's different. Sometimes you get them spot on, sometimes you can't. And the main thing is, is, is uh, get it as tight as you can right there and uh, get the white out and everything will be okay. All right, she's calling on me. I'm going to get it done. I've been thinking about this for a while. And uh, get to her. Okay, guys. Uh, I've got nothing else to say or anything new that I've got. Let's see. I can't think of anything. Okay, guys, that'll be it. 
and uh, so I don't know when the final build will be on B29 because yesterday I could have done today and waited for all the panel lines, but I decided to go ahead and add the panel lines to it. So I airbrush, I masked them, airbrush them down so I don't let them dry. Then I gotta get the ice and boots going, so I got a lot of work to do in this thing. So, one day this week it'll be done, I promise you. But I'm gonna get started on this. This won't take long to build this job. <coughs> if I have no video, but probably a couple of days on this. So tonight I'm gonna get to hot on the Tiffy and post some pictures. And I'll make a video of that Tiffy right there. So I'm gonna be working pretty much on that today. Probably be starting on that probably uh, about 5 o'clock today. I'll start on that. But right now I want to get started on this a little bit. I want to get some of these formers all prepared and cut and route and ready to go. And cut down the pieces of formula and put them together is going to be a piece of cake. Okay, what I can do with this here is make a build log out of it. Instead of just going to put it together and show it a final reveal. Because a lot of you guys out there you don't see you've done before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build these things in some assembly. So I'll just lay them on top of the board here and show you how what, what was done. Okay, and explain things as a, as a procedure uh, gets going in the assembly. Okay, guys, make Mama happy again, and uh, please subscribe, and thank you very much for your beautiful comments. I'm very honored each one of you guys out there. Build on, happy modeling, please subscribe, and uh, take care of yourselves, fellas, and uh, just keep building. That's, that's the way to go, only way to go. And time will take care of itself. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, I'm out of here. We'll catch you guys uh, a day or two, either on this or something else. But stay tuned. I'll see you guys. Take care, boys.